Well, bond is denied for once prominent South Carolina attorney Alex Murdaugh, now charged with stealing or attempting to steal more than $3 million in insurance money from the family of his deceased housekeeper. News Nation correspondent Janelle Forge is live with us with more on this story. So, Janelle, um, his mental health played a role in the judge's decision today. Yeah, Nicole, today a judge said that Alec Murdahl's considerable financial resources and his mental instability uh, make it too risky to grant him bond uh, in this situation. A number of factors played into this, the first one being that Alec Murdahl has spent the past six weeks in a rehab facility uh, recovering from an apparent opioid addiction. And then the second one is that before that, he tried to arrange his own death in a botched multi-million dollar insurance fraud scheme that happened on Labor Day weekend. So the judge ruled that Murdoch must undergo psychiatric evaluation. The judge told the court he'll circle back and reconsider his decision to deny bond based on whatever information comes from that. Murdoch has been locked up since Thursday. These charges stem from the 2018 death of the Murdoch's family's longtime housekeeper, Gloria Satterfield, the Murdoch family told Satterfield sons their mother tripped and fell at their home. Satterfield was hospitalized and died weeks later, but the death, oddly, was never reported to the Hampton County coroner, and the death certificate falsely labels the cause of death as natural. At Satterfield's funeral, the lawsuit alleges Murdoch told her sons he would get insurance settlements for her death and take care of them. He managed to secure more than $4 million from his insurers over the incident, but the attorneys for the family say that the family never saw a dime of that money. Murdaugh is now being charged with two counts of obtaining property by false pretenses. And remember, Nicole, this is just one of a slew of legal battles the disgraced lawyer is now facing. Right now, he's a part of six criminal state investigations. And the crime that set off these legal troubles, the death of Murdaugh's wife and son, is still unsolved. And Murdaugh has, on multiple occasions, denied having anything to do with that. Yeah, the saga certainly continues here. Janelle, thank you for that.